Hello friends, we are going to see uh, assignment number nine of data science and big data analytics lab for third year computer engineering. And assignment title is data visualization. And in assignment, we have to use the inbuilt data set Titanic as used in the assignment number eight. So plot a box plot for distribution of age with respect to each gender along with the information about whether they have survived or not. So we have to include here the column names from the Titanic data set as sex and age. Also, we have to write down the observations on the inter inference from the above statistics, which we have drawn with the help of box plot. Now, for implementing this assignment, we have to use Seaborn library. Now, what is Seaborn library? So Seaborn is a data visualization library which is built on the top of matplotlib library and it is closely integrated with the pandas data structures in python so visualizations is a central part of the seaborn which helps in exploration and understanding of data there are some functionalities which are uh, offered by the seaborn library that is it determines the relationship between variables then with the help of seaborn automatic estimation and plotting of linear regression plots can be done high level abstraction for multi plot grids can be done with the help of seaborn library and visualizing uni univariate and bivariate distribution so for implementing or using seaborn library which is used for basically for the purpose of data visualization. Now, we are going to see how we can um, initialize the Seaborn library. Now, I am uh, doing the Python coding in Google Colab, which is associated with your Google account, Gmail account. Okay. Now, for initializing Seaborn library, we have to use import Seaborn as SNS. So we have imported Seaborn library. Then after importing Seaborn library, we have to load the data set Titanic. Now Titanic data set is already available with the Seaborn library. So we are going to store this data set in data set variable. So data set is equal to SNS and load data set so we want to load the data set as titanic we will display it whether the data set has loaded or not so we will display first five rows from the data set so for that purpose we are using the method as head data set dot so let us run the program, run the code. So it is displayed with the data set as data set as Titanic data set and it has number of columns and rows are there. So first five rows are displayed here because we have used the method as head method. So columns are survive, then passenger class, sex, age, then ship ST, patch, fair, embark class, who, adult male, deck, embark town, alive, and alone. Okay. Now um, let us check out the title of the assignment. We have to plot a box plot for distribution of age with respect to each gender along with the information about whether they are survived or not. So we are concentrating on the first part of the statement that plot a box plot for distribution of age with respect to each gender. First of all, we will plot a box plot for distribution of 
age with respect to each gender. Then we are going to consider the information about whether they are survived or not. So for that purpose, we are using again the Seaborn library. From the Seaborn library, we are using box plot. So X value is sex because gen for gender, the column name is given as sex, feature name is given as sex. Then for age, feature name is given as age. And which data set we want to use, that is data is equal to data set. So data set is a variable in which we have loaded the Titanic data set. So it will draw a box plot for age versus sex. So you can see here. You can see here the box plot is drawn for the male and female, sex versus age. Okay. But in the assignment item, it is given that whether they are survive or not. So for survival or not, we are going to use hue parameter. Okay. And in hue parameter, we are going to use column name as survive. So like the next code section, so SNS dot box plot. Again, we are writing same code that is X is equal to sex, then Y is equal to age, data is equal to data set and one more parameter here we are going to add that is hue parameter for checking whether they are survive or not. Hue is equal to survive. So here we can say, see that so along with gender, survival information is also added and zero indicates that here we can see that zero indicates that the person is not survived and one indicates that person is survived, okay? So zero means no, whether the person or passenger is survived or not, Zero means no and one means yes. So here we have drawn the box plot. That means first part we have completed that is plot the box plot for distribution of age with respect to each gender along with the information about whether they are survive or not. Okay. Now uh, in the second part, we have to write the observations on the inter inference of the above statistics. That means whatever the graph box plot we have drawn from that box plot we have to uh, write down the observations now which type of observations we can uh, write down with the help of this box plot that is uh, so in addition to the information about the age of each gender we can also uh, see the distribution of passengers who are survived that means it is uh, whether the passengers, male passengers are survive or not. So this information is also uh, presented with the help of this box plot with the help of U parameter. Okay. Now we can see that among the male passengers on, on average, more younger people survived as compared to the older ones. So from this part of the graph for the male passengers, we can say that male passengers on average more younger people, that means it represents the age. So more younger peoples are survived as compared to the older ones. And similarly for the female passengers, on average, more 
older females survive as compared to the younger one so these are the observations which we can uh, write down with the help of these boxes thank you